So, so Prison Break, Break, they turned into a video game. What would the Grim? They did. They turned Prison Break into a video game. A lot of TV shows. Break out of prison? Is that the idea? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I am fast. <laughs> when it comes to Grim, what would the video game be if you were in charge? Oh, wow, that's a good question. I would say it would have to do with diagnosing Vesson. Like, who do, do you see them? Can you tell by their human form? The weeping person, the, the, the person gnashing their teeth, the per, you know, are they a Vesson or are they just a messed up Kezaita? Um That would be the first thing, would be like, guess the Vesson. And, and once you do guess them, can you stop them from doing what their intention is to do? or help them. Like, not every Vesson is evil. You know, the, the genuine innocuo, you know, is like an innocuous person, like a nice guy. They're not troubled. They're, I mean, they're not violent. They're just, they need to be drawn out into the world. So I guess it, for me, it would be about like a psychological evaluation. <laughs> If you could be any Vesson at all, What would you be and why? You know, I get asked this all the time, and I can't, I can't betray my Blutbaden past. I also am really a dog person. Like I love dogs. I feel related to it. I feel canine on a certain level. I always had no joke. Like I grew up, you know, with pictures of dogs and uh, talisman. Like I'm a dog person. So to me, uh, dogs are where it's at. So. What's in store for your character with season four? I think it's going to get hard because it's been too easy, you know, with like me and Rosalie falling in love and getting married and a few bumps here and there with like the intervescent species thing or my parents being weird or, you know, but that's nothing compared to what I think might be in store after the wedding crashing and burning the way it did and what the world is going to know about things that might have been kept in a little Portland pod until now. And I feel like we could be in danger.